Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impressions and full day wear test of the new Say Super Skin Foundation. This is Say Beauty's most recent launch and if you don't know about Say Beauty, they are a clean, non-toxic beauty brand at Sephora and they are all about that natural, clean, fresh looking makeup. Intentionally put skincare in their makeup products. It's not only going to give you color, but it's also going to give you skincare benefits so you feel better about wearing makeup. And I found that their beauty products just help accentuate the beauty that you already have. So I truly love this brand and pretty much love all their products. And we're going to try and do a full face of Say Beauty today. But before we get started, my name is Jess, I'm a working mom, and I post motherhood, beauty, and fashion content, so if you like that kind of stuff, please feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. And if you love first impressions and all day wear tests, please feel free to hit that like button. So this is the Say Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Luminous Foundation. It is a lightweight serum foundation with a medium buildable coverage that brightens and leaves a luminous finish. Online it says it blends easily for hydrated and seamless second skin appearance. So the highlighted ingredients in this foundation is the Hydro Bounce Complex which is the Say signature ingredient. It helps hydrate, moisturize, and brighten and plump the appearance of skin. So this foundation is comprised of 85% skincare ingredients and 15% weightless pigment. So I'm going to apply primers first. I don't believe Say has like a full on primer, but they have the Say Glowy Gel, which you can use as a primer. So I'm going to use that. And I have this in Sun Glow. I personally prefer it over their other one. The other one, which is Star Glow, and it's just like a champagne. And this one is bronzy. I love this one. I like to blend this one in with a brush. But this one just gives you that nice glow. Gives you some nice color to the skin. This one helps even out my skin tone with my neck. Because my neck is a little bit darker than my face. This feels so good on the skin too. So nice and refreshing. Now we're going to go in with the foundation. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. I didn't get the foundation brush that comes with it. I do have the bronzer brush. I was thinking about using this one, but I haven't washed it. So I'm just going to use this Merit brush and hope for the same results. I think I'm going to apply it in the back of my hand. I heard people who have tested this out with a beauty blender it doesn't apply that well. So I'm just going in with a brush instead. Anyways, I prefer brushes instead of a beauty blender. I definitely thought it was going to be too dark for me, but I think this foundation is the perfect shade from what I see. And this is in the shade 10. Definitely feels light and almost like a serum texture to it. Like it's not creamy or um, too thick. Wow. I'm already impressed because it perfectly evened out my skin tone. And I did about a pump and a half. My skin looks so smooth. I love this little luminosity to the skin. It looks very natural. And that just like blended out so quick and so easy. We will see how it wears throughout the day. This definitely layers well with the Chloe Super Gel. So if you already have that, it's perfect together. But I think the Glowy Super Gel is like a great product in general if you don't like, if you don't have the foundation or not. I think the Glowy Super Gel layers well with almost all of my foundations and it's so pretty during the summer. You can just throw that on, some blush, and you're good to go for the day. I think I have a full face of Say products, so we're actually just going to do all Say today. I'm going to try and use as much Say products that I have. So for bronzer, I'm using the Say Sun Melt, and this is in the shade Medium. I definitely like their brushes. I wish I got the foundation brush, but the Merit one is 
really good with it. They're so nice and creamy. For blush, I only have one of their liquid blushes, and this is in the shade Poppy. This is so pretty during spring and summer because it's just a nice bright coral. But just like the Rare Beauty blushes, a little bit goes a long way with this. But these blushes are on the dewy side. Far, it's layering really well. My blush and bronzer, nothing is getting picked up or getting swiped away. Now I'm going to go in with my Say Concealer, and this is in the shade HB2. And this is their High Beam Concealer. I love this. It's nice and light, has coverage, but it's also nice and brightening. And then I'm going to set my T-zone area and under my eyes with the Radiant Loose Setting Powder from Say. I absolutely love this setting powder. It gives just like a natural radiance. It sets your makeup but without losing that luminosity. I also love the little Say brush for this as well. It's nice and tapered so it gets underneath the eyes nicely. This product isn't from Say, but it's from Kosas, and they're also a clean brand. But I've been using this palette in Contra Chroma. It's actually like a bronzer, like a cheek product. But I've been using it on my eyes. It's so pretty and so natural. For brows, I'm using the Rose Ink Brow Gel, and this is just a clear one. I feel like this product is actually very underrated. It holds pretty well. I mean, not like the Benefit Brow Setter, but it does a pretty good job. And then I'm just using the mascara as well. Here's the wand. It has a little bit of a ball shape at the tip, so it can really like get in the corner lashes. But this just adds so much volume to my lashes. Definitely one of my favorite clean mascaras. I also have the lip products. This is the Lip Blurs, and this is in the shade Modern. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks. It's a soft matte finish, but the thing I love that about this, I don't really gear towards matte lipsticks because I'm like prone to dry lips, but this is surprisingly so hydrating. I'm mostly like a lip liner and then a chapstick or like a lip balm kind of girly. So surprisingly, really love this for being a matte finish and being so hydrating. So we are going to do a little wear test today. It's actually already 1.18, so the day is like halfway done. But I will be up till like 9 o'clock, so we will do at least an 8 hour-ish wear test. Um, and I'm not doing much today, just staying home and working, so this foundation should hold up pretty well. Right now it looks so good on the skin. I I can't believe how much coverage I got for just like one pump and for how light this foundation is because it's like a serum like texture. So, so far I'm impressed and I'm in love and I feel like this might be my new everyday foundation. One thing I wish I had is SPF, but they have other foundations that have SPF, like their Slip Tint. This is really good, but it is on the thicker side. So, I have a good feeling about this. I'm going to take a picture with flash on. I can't get the flash on my camera to go off, so I'm going to take it through the Instagram app. Okay, we got our flash shot and our regular one. I will keep you updated throughout the day on how this foundation wears. So I'll see you soon. So it's about 3.50 right now, trying to get into the natural lighting. It's been about three hours-ish at least. And the only interaction around my face has been having a little candy and some water and kissing my son, but he didn't really, like I didn't really rub against him around my mouth or around my face and this is where we're at i would say we're still pretty good still similar as to when we started usually around my nose is where it goes first and like my cheeks area 
That still looks good. The blush and the bronzer still look good. Don't look like it's fading too much. So it's held up pretty well for three hours and I don't look too oily or greasy yet. So love that. All right, I'm trying to find the best lighting, but it is 8.51, 8.52. And this is the current state of my makeup. So we had dinner, had some dessert, definitely no more around the nose. But what I love is that you can still see the bronzer and blush, like you can still tell it's layered on my face. So honestly, this coverage isn't that bad for after eight hours. So it looks pretty good. This foundation doesn't even claim to be long wearing, so the fact that I still have some coverage is really good. I still have that natural radiance to my face, and just a reminder, this foundation was medium coverage, so in my opinion, I think it did so well. I think it held up my bronzer and blush really well. So overall, I would give this foundation an 8 out of 10 because of my personal choices and like my personal preference fact that it's clean at Sephora, it's lightweight, it's medium coverage, so it's not light to medium, it specifically says medium coverage, so I think that's awesome for like such a light texture foundation. And it's hydrating, like I don't have any dry patches on my face or anything like that, and it really just does look like second skin. So overall, I really enjoy this foundation, I'm definitely keeping it and definitely going to use it as an everyday foundation. But thank you so much for watching. If you like first impressions and all day wear tests, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if there's any other products that you'd like to like me to specifically review, please feel free to comment below. And if you don't want to miss another video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Bye. I'll see you guys soon.